the cell divisions the second type of uh, cell division or indirect uh, type of cell division or meiosis how does the meiosis is taking place at which stages it will occur what is a what are the stages that are present in the meiosis what is significance we are going to discuss in the meiosis part so here meiosis is otherwise called as reduction division or the other way called as heterotypic division so why it is so called as reduction division means the chromosome number is reduced to half that is the reason why we call it as reduction division that is what for example if the cell is started with diploid cell the daughter cells which are formed they contain haploid number of chromosomes so that is the chromosome number is reduced to half and uh, whatever the daughter cells that have been formed uh, as a result of meiosis so the daughter cells are uh, not similar to each other so that is the reason why we call them as a we call this type of division as a heterotypic type of division and uh, here the term meiosis was coined by more and former and uh, this was discovered in plants by strasburger scientist and many other scientists are there who are related to the discovery of meiosis in the animals so here which stage is considered to be the best stage to identify the meiotic type of divisions in a plant cell means the division of meiosis in the spore mother cells is the best stage or best site for studying the meiosis in the plant cells so here meiosis occurs only in diploid cells or the cells which are having even number of chromosomes it does not occur in haploid cells in plants and uh, any cell which is undergoing meiosis that cell is called as meiocyte and uh, generally in lower plants like in algae and in uh, some fungi the zygote is a meiocyte because the zygote will undergo meiosis so we call it as a meiocyte and uh, in the bryophytes also the same type of uh, character can be observed and uh, what is a okay but when it comes to pteridophytes and spermatophytes spermatophytes means uh, angiosperms and gymnosperms in both of them so we can say that uh, microspore mother cell and megaspore mother cell both of them are acting as a which are uh, diploid in condition and both of them are acting as a meiosis meiocytes and in some of the pteridophytes the spore mother cell where there is no differentiation between microspores and mother cell microspores and megaspores we call it as spore mother cell so these are also acting as a meiocytes and uh, the cells which are formed as a result of meiosis those are called as meiospores that is uh, microspores megaspores and uh, sometimes the uh, spores are also all these are haploid structures which are formed as a result of meiosis so these are called as a meiospores at which stage the meiosis is taking place based on that uh, nature so meiosis is divided into three types those are uh, first one zygotic meiosis or initial meiosis
this is a meiosis or the meiosis which occurs in zygote or here the zygote will undergo meiosis. Here when zygote will undergo meiosis what happens is uh, the generation the daughter generation which is formed or the plant body which is formed will be in haploid condition. is haploid in their nature. So, this type of uh, characters can be observed in algae and second one is uh, gametic meiosis. Here gametic meiosis will occur during gametogenesis. that is uh, during gametes formation. So, that is uh, when the gametes, gamete parent cells are present. So, those parental cells will divide by meiosis to form the gametes. So, this is mostly been observed in the animals. Then sporic meiosis. This is a meiosis which occurs during, during the spore formation or it may occur in the spore mother cell or microspore mother cell or in the megaspore mother cell. It, it resulting in the spores, the microspore or the megaspores. So, this will be observed in the higher plants like in some bryophytes, pteridophytes. gymnosperms and in angiosperms. So, likewise uh, this type of uh, three types of meiosis are present based on the stage at which the meiosis is taking place in the life cycle of the organisms.